Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Enter Dimensions Reality Update video, episode 18. And I'm picking up right where I left off because this is the fast part of the game. So, E449 at turning points. It actually looks like I'm hitting a little bit of a wall. I probably need a slightly different build at this point. Maybe? Which is kind of surprising. But maybe I actually need a different build. Um, something that doesn't include 192, because it isn't very powerful unless I wait a lot of time. And although I'm getting closer, I'm still not quite up to 900 time theorems. So I'm going. I'm going to actually respec, load my load this one, and then use use a slightly different build. I'm not going to go 192. Instead, I am going to go. I'm still going to go 232. Also, I'm going to go 228 and 234, and this should be better at this point in the game. Yeah. E465, E466, Eternity Points. It's not actually that powerful, but it should give me enough time theorem so I can get so I can get 201, and I'm pretty sure 201 is, like, very powerful. There's also the Eternity Challenge 11 and 12 I can start. So, I'm actually going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try the first completion of Eternity Challenge 12. I know, I'm doing it out of order. This is basically the game runs a thousand times slower, and then also all other game speed effects are disabled, and you must reach the goal in a certain amount of ch time, or you will fail the challenge. So I need E110,000 infinity points in one in-game second or less. So you can see here, if you go to statistics, if you go to game speed, it's 1 over 1,000. So, yeah, it's it's a little bit rough sometimes. It shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, the Replicanti, though, that... Actually, I don't think this is possible, or at least if it is possible, it's going to take a long time to get to. It's surprising how much this actually matters. Even though I don't feel like it matters that much, but... Really, Replicated Galaxies. I'm just, I'm just going to exit the challenge and just keep doing runs as normal because I'm still gaining a good amount of attorney points per run and I'm getting closer and closer to time study 201, which allows me to pick another path from the first split, which means I can do both infinity and time dimensions in one go. So I'm just going to respec here. E485... 486 attorney points. Um, let's just load this. Get this. Get, of course, 181. And all of these. Pick another Pick another path from the first split. So, infinity, infinity dimensions are the, are the way to go here. And then I still have enough for 224 and 232. So this, yeah, this is what really gives me a nice little boost in progression. So, E518, Eternity Points, and I forgot to get Time Theorems, so I can get them now, all the way up to 500. Unfortunately, I need 900 Time Theorems to get the next study, and that's probably 228. And I know that's one of the most, most powerful Time Studies, so let's get that, let's get this. Go back to buying Time Theorems, I'm now 167 Time Theorems away. And this really shouldn't be too bad. I'm getting less than I thought I might get, but that's okay. That probably means I just need to do one more run here. After getting time theorems with eternity points, I'm now only a few away. So, yeah, now now I can get 228. And it's not as powerful as 232, but it's at least going to do something for me. It'll get me up to E581 eternity points. So let's do that. Let's get all of this stuff. Let's get additional time theorems. Um, and I know 234 is another pretty powerful time study. Maybe I should have gone for 226 instead of 228, but whatever. I'm already halfway to 234. Okay, there we go. I took a few runs, but I'm able to get 500 time theorems. I can finally get time study 234 and instantly gain another like 200 time theorems. And this will get me up to E640 Eternity Points from about E610. 
and I can probably do a few more runs, but I, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to... St st ooh, no, no, no. I, I want to save. I basically want to start making a build for Eternity Challenge 11. 12 seems out of reach at this point, at least without, like, severely risking failing the challenge, and which takes, like, 17 minutes only to fail and not get anything out of that. So... Yeah, maybe one more eternity run, and then I'm going to change my entire build up specifically for eternity challenge um, 11. So here we go. I have 6,000 time theorems, which is crazy. So what I want to do, I can only use the infinity, no, not infinity, the normal antimatter dimension path for eternity challenge 11. I'm going to save this build because it takes a long time for me to just keep clicking on these time studies. Now, I think for Eternity Challenge 11, I do want to go idle. Because I don't think... I'm, I'm, I have Study 181. I'm not going to be crunching it, I think. So let's just get all of this. Get Study 181. This is kind of useless for Eternity Challenge 11, so I can avoid that. This definitely is useful. I can get everything here. I still probably want to go 232, except I'm going to go 223. Because this is going to be Eternity Challenge 11. And then, I'm not sure if 221 or 222 is better. I do know that I want to go 225 and 233 for Eternity Challenge 11. And then the question is, which one of these do I want to pick? Um, so, this is the all dimension multipliers and power that are disabled, except for the multiplier from infinity power and dimension boosts. I need E500 infinity points to, com to complete the challenge. So, I know this is one of the roughest challenges um, right now. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I'm pretty sure I want 222 because dimension boosts are like some of the only multipliers. If I go to Antimatter Production, there's this. There's also Tick Speed. But... I don't think there's any, like, sacrifice. So, you can see that tick speed, it's mostly based on um, galaxies, not time dimensions. So, anything that boosts time dimensions is useless. Anything that boosts sacrifice is useless, which means I can only choose one, and that is 222. So, so there, so there we go. This will be my Eternity Challenge 11 build. So, this is one of the roughest attorney challenges because of how, um, not, like, the first few completions are usually not too bad, but then it gets worse and worse because you, you grow, I grow increasingly reliant on time study 233 specifically, where I just need to get a whole lot of replicanti and then wait for this to go down. And this is also why I'm going idle path, because this challenge does actually take a, quite a long time. It seems to... Um, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm going to check. Does this actually... this Does this even ignore glyphs? This even ignores my glyph boost. This means I'm getting basically no boost to my antimatter production from reality. I think the only thing that's doing something is I have a two times replicani speed boost, and that's it. So you're gonna see, yeah, here I'm getting over E308 replicanti, and this is gonna lower the cost of the max replicated galaxies, so that I will eventually be able to buy it. So I'm at E388 infinity points, and there is another replicated galaxy, and I keep doing this. And I just wait. Basically, I literally just do this five times. And the wait gets worse and worse every time. Because in this challenge, the goal increases by E200 infinity points every completion. The reward is it further reduces the tick speed cost multiplier growth. So yeah, because of how boring this challenge is, I'm going to basically... Because basically I just rinse and repeat this build for five times. And wait increasingly long every time. So 
Yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later. I have done all five completions of Attorney Challenge 11, so I'll never have to deal with that. And now I can go back into, well, regular runs, because these this challenge reward, I think it's pretty good. It's it's further reduced the tick speed cost multiplier growth, so it's now down to just 1.65. This is enough to get me all the way to E733 Eternity Points, which, of course, means more Time Theorems, more everything. So I think this is the final Time Theorem, or final Time Study I'm going to get. No, there's, there's two more. There's, there's 226, which gives me more Replicated Galaxies. I could get 225, it's better in the long run. But I don't really want to be waiting very much. And also, it's probably better for Eternity Gel 12. So, there's that. And then, also, the real last one here is going to be 222. It's Dimension Boosts, Cost Scale by another 2 less. I'm pretty sure that's better than 221 in almost every case. So that means, yeah, I'm getting almost 100 orders of magnitude of Eternity Points every run, which is crazy. It's like almost enough that I could, well, not now, but I'm thinking possibly in dilation, maybe not this eternity, but some kind of eternity, I could try to get this kind of, this achievement. The Yo Dog, I heard you like reskins, the reward is really good, it's, it's galaxies no longer reset dimension boosts. I mean, okay, I guess it isn't like the greatest thing ever, but it's still pretty good, it's gonna just help with a lot of things, especially infinity grinding. So I do I do want to eventually get that achievement sooner rather than later. But anyway, yeah, you can see E1040 Eternity Points. And I can probably get all the way up to E1100. Eventually I'm gonna have to grind Eternity Challenge 12. But here it is, E1092 Eternity Points. I can probably get another, like, 40-ish orders of magnitude. I'm getting time theorems, but they don't really help at all at this point. All I need to do is just get the 12,900 need to unlock time dilation. And then I can go into time dilation. Well, I'm still not there yet. I also gotta get 5 completions of Eternity Channel 12. So, there's that as well. But, yeah, you can, you can see just how many Eternity... I don't even have a single completion... Of Eternity Channel 12, yet I'm um, still able to close in on E1300 Eternity Points. And that's that's where another scaling happens. So, that's, yeah, it's gonna, that, that part's gonna be a little bit rough. But, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one more Eternity after this one and try to knock out all completions of Eternity Channel 12. So, let's do that. I can get E12, but 1225. Eternity points, and then I have to use only the time dimension path for Eternity Challenge 12. Um, I'm going to want to go active because of how I have so little time. And then, I guess, I can't pick another path from, from first split, or from the dimension split. Um, get all of these. Now I have to choose which one I want here. Pretty sure, like, this, this, this is the better path. For this case, 226 is definitely better. Um, I'm not sure how much 223 versus 224 matters. I'm going to go 224 and 222. And then, of course, 232 because that's the best one. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to do this, and then go back to Time Study Tree. And save this as number 4. And then... Try to do my Eternity Challenge 12. So, the first time, yeah, E110,000 Infinity Points, super easy. And we're just going to load this. Now, E122,000 Infinity Points in 0 0.8 in game seconds. And yeah, you're just, you're just seeing how this works. The reward is that Infinity Dimension Cost Multipliers are reduced. So, there's that. I, I'm pretty sure none of these are able to challenge me. Maybe the fifth one. But, there's the fourth one. And then, last but not least, is the very last Eternity Challenge I'm going to have to deal with this reality. So, I need E158,000 Infinity Points in 
200 milliseconds game time or 200 regular seconds real time. So this is where I, yes, I will need to actually get replicated galaxies for this. And it does suck. And I can't make this go any faster. So I guess I'm just going to wait and see if I complete the challenge or fail the challenge. So it looks like every replicated galaxy is giving me approximately 400, even 500 orders of magnitude of infinity points. I am definitely going to be fine here. Just going to take a little bit longer than usual. Probably one more replicated galaxy. Oh, not even. There it is. Last eternity challenge. So now I'm going to go back into this build. I should probably include these two studies as well um, in this build. So let's save that. And yeah, now, now it's just the final push to E1300 and beyond for eternity points. So that's, that's like 50 orders of magnitude right there. And I now have, there it is, 12,900 time theorems. <laughs> so I can unlock dilation. And you can see the glyph boost is now really coming in handy because it probably gives me like a, I don't know, 3% boost to the exponent of my antimatter, which is also about 3% to exponent of my like eternity points. And the exponent is now so large that it's actually making a pretty big difference. Where like previously it would make less than a single order of magnitude difference. Now it's making like 30 or 40 orders of magnitude of eternity points of a difference. And then, of course, there's also all the stuff that, you know, combines with it, like, you know, because, like, infinity point multipliers and stuff. So I can get way beyond E1300 eternity points. But here's the problem. There's this, um, there's another scaling at E1300. Same with this, with, with both the regular, with the eternity point multiplier and time dimensions. So that means I'm kind of hard-walled at this point. And the only way to progress further is time dilation. So that's going to be next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.